Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with our third um, video on our series of um, doing uh, an album. And um, this album is inspired by um, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. I will put her link below, the link for the um, album itself, which is one of the top pull type albums, um, Hidden Hinge. And yeah, so this is my third time. So third time's the charm, third time filming this. <laughs> so... I don't know why, but this this one does not want to be done. So anyways, we'll work through it. Know that um, Sam, if you with the hidden hinge, um, it is awkward at first, but once you get to know them, you can like no problem. But between Sam and I, we should be able to get you guys so that you are um okay so i'm hoping that is it's it's me that's able to that you don't have to go anywhere else and um i'll try to make it as painless as possible but in the meantime since this is filmed three times i've already put down the in inside of my um uh album as well as the hinges, but we'll get to the hinges. We'll start from the beginning with those in a second. So what we need for the inside cover um, is seven and a half, sorry, six and one quarter by 11. So it's, um, I just wanna make sure of that six by, six and a quarter by 11. Now, sometimes people want to do where the album is one full cover, like one full color, and then they decorate from there. Sometimes people will want to do these in two separate things um, so that their hinges are right on the um, chipboard. Now, what they do is they make sure that either the hinges go out this way and are secured more there, and then some of them want it to uh, this part to go in through here so that it's secured that way. You'll get so that you know which one you like best but for me I like the full panel going across especially since it gives me the 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 um, decor the same decor all the way through the top and all the way through the bottom so you can see here where I have a leaf from this and I like that I don't have any problems with strength um, because I put so much strength into even the panel. I do uh, do everything on my spine as much as possible with tape and glue. But um, yeah, so that is the inside. When you are finished putting it down, you have to work in those uh, those um, corners again. So really work them in. Try not to put a hole, but really work them in so that they turn. And then, like we did with the the cover, I take it and I and I do this with it. The same way as I did the cover, just to get it so that it's used to going where it's supposed to go. Um, this one still is quite stiff for me, so I do want to work in those again, just to make sure that I'm gradually bringing, and what we secure it with too will help as well. So if I do a strap around here, 
it'll help hold that taut. So, um, yeah, I hope this makes sense. I wish I had a, not had trouble with the first two um, filming. But, yes, use... Use glue if you can. I do not use glue under here because I'm afraid the glue will show through here. But I can put it underneath my hinges because it won't show as much. It won't show at all, actually. But this is all done with tape um, because it's visible and I, I don't like the glues showing you through no matter how much you try to burnish it it's always going to have something there I find so um, I don't like it so I just do it with tape now I hope that was not too quick for the inside and I know that it's disappointing that the other two wouldn't work out but it is real life I guess real life all right, so the hinges. The hinges are going to be um, four and a half by five and three quarter. On the four and a half inch side, we're going to score at every half in at half inch. So what I do with them is I work them back and forth. So I don't do any of, I don't focus on the shape that they're supposed to be yet. I focus on getting the fibers so that they are easy to move. So we're not focusing on we're I'm just I do them one way and then I do them the other and then I focus on the on how they're supposed to look. So, to begin with, this is your outside, is an outside page, and this is an outside page. So, what's needed is you're going, make sure that you put those in one direction. Like that. Because that is how I <laughs> help myself. <laughs> Because I just make sure, because I know they have to go in that direction. So, no matter how much I mess this up, I can always come back and say, okay, yeah, go back to the beginning again. Make sure the outside pages are going in the, right, uh, the same direction. So now what you're going to do is this is going to turn in to a half square square so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it like that but then my my page is pointing in the wrong direction so I make sure that I bend it back on the next one so what you're looking for is that now this is going to be another page so when you fold that down, you've got that, and this is another page. I hope this is making sense. I still have everything's pointing in the right direction. So then I'm going to come up with this again and fold down for another page. So now I look like this.
so it's going to be flat when you glue these two pages, these two um, things together to make that page and this page, it's going to produce a, a flat back. And I will show you here in a second what I mean. But those are your four hinges. This book has four um, pages in it. Those are the four hinges right there. So here's what it looks like finished. So you've got this. You've got four hinges now, all pointing, pointing in the right direction, same direction. And then you've got a flat, a flat bottom. So it looks like this from the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue in here or tape. I usually glue it because of the fibers and connecting the fibers. We're going to glue right in here and we're going to glue right in here. So I'll do that with you because I know this is not, it's kind of funky at first, but the main thing you got to remember is that you're, you've got four pages and, and four hinges and they all have to point in the right direction, the same direction. I always try to use glue for these because it strengthens them. We've got this one's got to, got to press a little bit more on that. So essentially, there's our back, and it looks like this. So I just want to run through that again, just because I think it's beneficial. Um, let me see, where do I have some paper I can use? Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to cut this. I just want to make sure because this is so vital to the whole thing because that's the whole idea of the hidden hinge, right? So again, we need four and a half by five and three quarters. I use 110 cardstock. I have used in the past 65, but I prefer the one 110 cardstock from Michaels. It's just the strength of it is so much better. So again, on the four and a half side, we do every half an inch. Fold them all at least once. Again, this is not how you're doing it. It's just getting those fibers worked in so that it's easy to maneuver. Burnish, burnish, burnish. I usually I go this way as well. Just to get them worked well. 
And we're going to work them when they're in the book as well. So. What I start with is this. So I know that this is an outside hinge and this is an outside hinge. So there's four hinges, uh, there's four pages, so four hinges is what I need. So on this one, what I do is I fold like this. So now I have to fold that way because this always has to face out to me so these two hinges at the ends face them towards yourself so I what I do is I make this first and then I push that down so that the hinge is back out to me then this Right here is a hinge. So I have to close that like that. So now I've got two hinges side by side that are going to be like that. Next, we're going to come up again. But again, we're not facing the right way. So we fold that under. So that right now we should be looking like this. Now, in order to make the page, we have, uh, in order to put it down on the book because we need that flat bottom and we need just the one hinge we're going to put that together so it's like that and now we put this one together Make sure you burnish that to make sure that the glue is going to stick well. And I suggest we use glue. If you want, you can use double-sided tape and glue, but I prefer at least the glue. Sometimes I put tape, but it's rare on these. So this is what you've got. These are your four hinges. This is your flat back. I'm hoping that makes some kind of sense because I am not a very good person for explanations. Like, so um, hopefully that will um, give you something that, or I, again, I have Sam's, oh, sorry, Sam's video um, below if you want to see what, how she does it. Now, um, on the book, we're going to glue this part down on the, on our uh, book bind. So you're going to have to make sure that not only are you between these two lines as as um, centered as possible, but you make sure that you're 
centered from the top and the bottom of the book as well. So vertically and horizontally, it needs to be centered. And then you glue it down or tape it and glue it or tape it, whatever you prefer. So that when you're looking down at it, it's looking like this. So it's got to be centered between this line and this line. And then centered between the top and the bottom of the book. This will not be the same size as the bind because it's going to be a, a, a hidden hinge. So your pages are going to go in around it and you won't even see these. Now you will see this part. I usually will cover that with whatever paper that I, I want to cover it with. Um, it's a half inch, so I usually do it a, just a touch under a half inch. Um, strips and I put it in there just so that it looks more uniform. So I hope that is clear. Um, clarity is not my strong suit, but um, yeah, I hope it's clear. If you have any questions, please, please let me know and I will be more than happy to go over it with you. All right. Um, thank you very much. We'll leave it at that. I think that's a lot for today anyways. Um, and yeah, I think we're good to go. Anyways, um, thank you very much and take care. Bye.